wonder if I do say anything, if it'll change anything. Okay, let's see if saying anything helps instead of being dot dot dot. Oh, I missed it going by faster. Oh, we had an agreement, Elise. It's a pity, isn't it? That you'd like the resolve to see this through. Come now, join us, why don't you? Ah, so you get her instead. Uh huh. Elise! Sacrifice yourself. So that's what happens if you interfere. Okay. For goodness sake. Ah, Elise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Oh wow. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Hey, Elise, I was wondering. I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might care to join me, if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there for ya. Ah, th that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. Ah, uh, is this a diverging path? What's gotten into her? 
Okay, let's do the Freya one first. Because, I have to choose between Lipkachin or Freya. There she is. Spend some time. Elise. Hi, Elise! I'm so glad you made the time. <laughs> I was curious about the maple, I suppose. Come now, I've been picking some flowers. Won't they wilt if you pick them now? <laughs> I'm still playing with the colors. Papa's lending me a hand to dress the maple, and Miss Marielle and Miss Linda, too. I'd as well invite all of Kieferberg to dress it at this rate. Why don't you help too, Elise? Me? You could spend the night on Friday and we could all do it together. Oh, I'm not too certain. Oh, it would be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. Hmm. Huh? Oh, I knew daisies would suit you best. Freya? <laughs> what do you say, Elise? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but... <laughs> That's alright if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I... You don't fancy me much, do you, Elise? Freya? Freya? All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. For goodness sake, that's not it, Freya. Oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet. Oh, but I truly didn't mean to... For goodness sake. You're always overcompensating, and it makes you seem disingenuous. Please. Please. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. Now you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend, Freya, rather than someone you owe an apology to. Please. I'll be using that ointment you made me, all right? I never meant to overcompensate. Hey, you shower me with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? That's because I care for you, Elise. Huh? There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. Uh. Anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? Hmm. Is everything alright? At least you're red as a beet. Why, it is getting quite late. What are you laughing at? See you around, Elise. For goodness sake. Ah, the hearts are different colors, too. My, Elise, look at those shoes. Red truly does look best on you, Elise. Why, thank you. Oh, you have to wear them to festival, Elise. Now is the time to find yourself a proper suitor, Elise. Well, that's precisely what we were treading about with Freya. Oh, yes. Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Why, the sooner the better, I'd say. That's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. I used to feel the same way until I met Finn. You'll see. I'd say Freya's got a good chance of meeting her future husband soon. Oh, Miss Prinhold, I wouldn't say I'm... You're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Oh, Freya is the catch. Ah, in truth, I do feel the same as Elise. My interests lie elsewhere, you see. Oh, you don't mean... Sewing? And I have my hands full with the festival, too. This really isn't the time. 
Oh, that reminds me, would you come and meet me by the well today at Dusky Lease? Oh, uh, yes, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, at least they're wonderful. <laughs> they suit me rather well, don't they? What? Your legs are so long, it's like you were made for those shoes. Or the shoes were made for you, maybe. <laughs> You're exaggerating, Freya. <laughs> Nothing of the sort, Elise. You're so elegant. Huh? I always thought you were so graceful, even when we were younger. <laughs> Freya. Freya! I'm more of a farmland glass to see. <laughs> Me to chop wood and draw water from the well. You know, I... I wouldn't put it like that, Freya. You're different, Elise. You're so confident and poised. Not one of those folks would ever agree with you, Freya. You always know when to stand your ground and what to say. Which is what gets me in trouble to begin with. I can't help but admire the way you carry yourself, Elise. You're truly... I wish I were as brave as you are. Huh? I could never talk back to Miss Vilma or to anyone else for that matter. You are a little too forgiving, that's true. That's why they keep praising me left and right, I suppose. What's keeping you from speaking your mind, Freya? <laughs> oh, I'm too much of a chicken for that, Elise. Are you out of your mind? This is ridiculous. You've lost your wits, and it's only Monday. <laughs> huh? Who's to tell you what you can or cannot do? <laughs> ah, it's not as though I can simply start. Only it truly is that simple, Freya. Elise, we're so capable and gifted. I know how much you love this town, but even you have to admit all it does is hold folks back. I know, Elise, yet I can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Kieferberg is my home, after all. It's not as though you can't build a home someplace else, Freya. I know, but... This is where my father is, where you are, it's... It's where my memories of my mother are, too. Freya. Freya. I've thought about Primaldor for even going beyond that, but I must say I'm glad to be here in this moment, right where I am. Elise. With you and Kieferberg. Hmm. Aren't you, Elise? You don't make it more bearable, I suppose. Kieferberg wouldn't be the same to me without you, if I'm honest. Freya. You're truly... Hmm. Capable and gifted, I heard you the first time, Elise. Why, you... Say, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. I'll be there. For goodness sake. There she is. Spend some time. Hi, Elise, there you are. <laughs> Loitering about home, are you, Freya? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. In fact, I've been rather busy. You did say you'd be at home all afternoon. <laughs> I was going to get a head start on the festival of preparations, but I couldn't bear seeing all of Kieferberg on edge like this. <laughs> More than on edge, Freya, the townsfolk are rabid. Oh, Elise? Elise? All this witch nonsense is only making things worse, too. That's why we ought to bring some cheer ourselves, Elise. Cheer, you say? Sake. You know better than to waste your cheer on these folks, Freya. Don't say that, Elise. Look. <laughs> I've been baking pies for everyone all afternoon. <laughs> That's so many! Ah, I may have gotten carried away a little. A little, you say? It was a good excuse to try out my mother's recipes. Your mother's recipes? Ah, yes, she used to keep a lot of journals. Oh, it's wonderful! For sewing and baking, for making ointments, anything you can think of. I see. 
Yes, so that's how you know how to do all of that. After all, I was too young to learn from her in person. Freya. Freya. Oh, right. Ah, before I forget. Great pie, was it? Huh? Oh. Your favorite, silly? It was great pie, wasn't it? Now that you mention it. Ah, I suppose. Make sure you share it with Rosemarina, alright? You baked me an entire pie, Freya? I'm doing it for all of Kieferberg. I couldn't forget about you, could I? Hmm. I, know, but... I remember what you said about me, showering you with gifts, but... Mm. You're truly... <laughs> trying to show you how I feel, Elise. <gasps> eh. Yeah. Oh goodness, you're red as a beat. You. Whose fault is that, you... Oh, I didn't even say anything that bad, silly. Huh. One more word and I'll tell Molly about these pies. Elise! For goodness, sake. For goodness sake! I truly did listen to what you said to me on Sunday, Elise. And everything I've said and done since then, I've meant it, so... I'm well aware, of Freya. Oh, right. Say, I'll be lending Miss Vilma a hand by the inn tomorrow at dusk. Alright, alright, I'll be there. Oh, you could be a little more genuine, Elise. For sake. You could be a little less cheeky, Freya. Oh, but it's so much fun getting you all flustered, Elise. Freya. Why, you... <laughs> there she is. Spend some time. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, are you? Oh, Elise! I'm so glad you're here, I was losing my wits. Miss Wilma's been giving you a hard time, I wager. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but she can be a little pushy. <laughs> Ill bred and ungrateful, that's what she is. Oh, Elise. Elise? All of Kieferberg would agree with me, and you know it. <laughs> Sit now, let's stop talking about Miss Wilma for a moment. You put up with too much of these folks' nonsense, Elise. I don't have much of a choice the way I see it. Yes, you do, Freya. Folks have always praised me left and right, Elise. I can't help but feel I ought to live up to their expectations. You don't have to live up to anything, you know that. You wouldn't understand, Elise. Huh? Daisies truly do suit you best, don't they? For sake. Keep avoiding the subject, Freya. <laughs> now on purpose. It very much is, Freya. You know it, I know it. I know. But... I've always been ashamed of what I did, Lise. It's alright, Freya. It's all in the past. Folks kept pitting us against each other when we were children, and I... <coughs> oh, Elise, I have to confess. Huh? The eggs you picked for Miss Bertha that day, I broke them. I broke them on purpose. <coughs> Freya! Oh, what can we do? I'd made a mess of her laundry that day, and I was so afraid I... I had her give you an earful and so she'd forget about me. For goodness sake! For goodness sake! I'm so sorry, Elise. I did so many bad things back then. Blaming you for my blunders, getting you in trouble at every chance. Telling the townsfolk you weren't capable so they'd ask for me and... I, see. I said it's alright, Freya. <sighs> I didn't understand how I felt back then either, so I... For goodness, sake. for goodness sake, I don't hold any of that against you. And when you said I was overcompensating, I... I, know. I... I understand, Freya. I know how you feel now, alright? Please. Things are different now, aren't they? You've been spending more time together being honest with each other. Elise! Oh, Elise! <sighs> I like being your friend, Freya. Let's put it all behind us and... Oh, Elise! Oh, oh Elise! <laughs> Ugh! Oh, it's wonderful. 
I love spending time with you. I've always wanted to get close to you. F Freya, I can't breathe. Now that we're truly friends, I I'm truly so... Oh, I'm so happy. Get F Freya! I ought to have said all this a, a lot sooner. Gah! Freya, dearie, how are the reeds coming along? Ah, it's Miss Wilma. How are you so strong? Before I go, Elise, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. <laughs> I'll I'll be there. Freya! I'm, sorry. I'm coming, Miss Wilma. For goodness sake. I think I'd better sit down a moment. App fell. Hold tight, I'll get you out of there. <sighs> that was tiring. Let's get you out of there and go home. Oh, that's different. Freya. Freya. Because it changes to your most hearts? The woodland, this grove, it's aching. Freya, your flesh, your blood, your love. All that's rightfully mine, my progeny. What is this? The, this thing's not Freya. I can give you all that you desire. What? My beloved daughter. What are you? This last, Freya. Is she the one your heart desires? What are you? We're coming. We will meet again. A vile stench, a vile stench. Tainting our grove, tainting our grove. It. It's you! The lad's staying where he is, lassie. The lad's staying, the lad's staying. Apfel, come now. Elise! Quickly, Apfel, we have to leave this place. That creature's brought him right into our beaks, lass. We're not about to waste a hearty meal. A hearty meal, a hearty meal! Arg, my eye! Come, Apfel. We'll curse you, we'll curse you! Dare not to find me, leave the lad. We'll devour him, we'll devour him! There she is! In some time! Oh! Elise! Hi, Elise, there you are! don't have to be so excited each time, Freya. I can't help it. Come in, now. There's something I'd like to show you. <laughs> I've only ever been here once before, I think. <laughs> oh, I know it's rather childish. Huh? What is it? <laughs> All these curtains and whatnot. It's like a child's room, I know. You made those yourself, didn't you, Freya? Uh, of course. Oh, of course I did. I don't see what's wrong with them. Miss Marielle always said I'd best focus on garments is all. I'd say she's right anyhow. I do too much embroidery, don't I? You make all your dresses, Freya? Ah, it's time I make them a little less colorful, isn't it? Mr. Gustav's overalls, too. I remember he made a great deal out of those. You both know he's right, Elise. You seem to think so, that's for certain. <laughs> she's a proper seamstress, Elise. She knows what she's talking. For sake. So are you, Freya. <laughs> Elise. Why do you think I have a bunch of grapes on my apron? 
Aren't grapes your favorite? For goodness sake, For goodness sake Frey, it's because of you. Eh? eh? I begged Granny Hilda to embroider them for me. <laughs> Just so you weren't the only lass in town with a dainty apron. <laughs> I'll laugh all you want, you. Right. Let me show you what I've been working on, then. What do you think, Elise? Freya. Oh. Oh, Freya. <laughs> I thought I'd finally put this silky ribbon to good use. Oh, it's rather dainty. You like it, then? I do like it. You even added some big frills on the straps. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Elise. That said, isn't it rather small for you, Freya? I thought you liked them longer and wider around the waist. This one's for you, silly. Huh? Summer's on its way, isn't it? You need something more cheery. Oh, this one. I hope it's this one. Thank you, Freya, but I... You keep making things for me, but... I truly can't help but feel it's... Elise, that's not... I'll see you in town, alright? Summer's on its way, isn't it? You need something more cheery. For goodness sake! There you go, making things for me again, Freya. I can stop if you'd like me to, Elise, but this is simply how I... I don't have anything to give back to you, is all. <laughs> oh, but you do! Huh? When you dance with me on Saturday, Elise? Eh? Yeah? Oh, oh, goodness, there you are, bright red again. You. You're shameless, Freya. Eh? Shameless? For sake. You do it on purpose, all these gifts and the things you say. <laughs> of course it's on purpose, silly. Let me do these things for you. This is how I express my... Anyway. I I know. <laughs> <laughs> shush it, you. Oh, shush, for goodness sake. <laughs> You're so bad at this, Elise. I'll dance with you all you want on Saturday. All right, Elise, I'll be looking forward to it. For Good grief. Oh, Elise. Move along now before you melt into a puddle. <laughs> Freya? Freya? Wrong bond. <sighs> Brethren, I've gathered you here today to address the recent goings on. You're rather late, Father. We've had enough. Show some respect, Elma. No, she's right. We need answers, Father. I'm afraid we will not be getting many today, Guido. This is yet another plea for us to overlook this situation. Why don't we let Father Hans take the lead? He's headed all week, and look where it got us, Gustav. We're together here this evening for a vigil, brethren. Together we are to appeal to the Lord's mercy and benevolence, as well as... All that'll do is put a lid on folks' troubles, Father. That's right, we need this witch to pay. Who would you suggest ought to pay, Lorley? Where's this witch you folks speak of? Gustav's right, we don't know where to turn. Prayer will show us the path we ought to follow, brethren. I have prayed all day, every day, and nothing's changed, Father. I fear for my poor Jacob, Father. Whoever is out there, they're taking our children and compromising our livelihoods. It's a decision folks want, Hans. We have to search every lass in town for the witch's mark. We ought to do no such thing, you old geezer. That's no way to address your elders, Elise. Is that so? Perhaps if my elders hadn't completely lost their wits. Hmm. Rest assured, Elise, no lass in Kieferberg will be searched, young or old. You folks still resist what must be done. Old Jockin is right, we must see this through. This is ridiculous! Are you going to do this then, Mr. Ludwig? If there's anyone who ought to do it, it's Lipkachin. I wonder... Me, Miss Brunhild? Of course, lass, you're a woman of God. Woman of God or not, Lipkachin is to be searched as well. 
Out with it. None of you are touching her. So, Elise, we have to search someone. Maybe for the best, Elise. Huh? Are you searching Freya too, then, and Miss Elizabeth? No exceptions, lass. Truth is, we don't know anything about your cousin, Elise. Why don't we start with her? That's right, this all started the day she got here. Oh, but I... No, I haven't done anything. Nobody's laying a finger on her. I saw her. I saw the witch. I saw Freya in the woods. My beloved daughter? <laughs> Elise saw her too. She talked to the witch. There it is, folks. They're the witches. Oh, well, fell. Get a hold of yourself, old lad. So it was true, Elise. You and Freya are the ones who've been making our lives hell. No! I would never do such a thing. Confess a lot of you. Confess your sins, you wretched witches. Hmm. Did you or did you not meet Freya in the woods, Elise? Of course I didn't. I was all by myself until I found him. Why, the lad says he saw you too, Elise. Wait. I didn't meet anyone in the woods, I swear. Oh my goodness, look! It's the witch! The witch is here! Oh, we're all going to die! You must keep calm, folks. Keep calm. She was there. I saw her. She had yellow eyes. What do you have to say for yourself, lass? Wait. Yellow eyes? I, I don't understand. Oh, I wouldn't think Freya would. We would know better than that, Brunhild. If that fellow says he saw her, who are we to say otherwise? Hmm. The lad's confused, Gaido. You oughtn't believe anything you hear. Uh -oh. Papa, I, I swear I didn't. This is, this is Freya we're talking about, you. Oh, I could never believe such a thing. Elise has always been a bad influence on the poor lass, after all. What were you doing in the woods, Freya? She was nowhere near the woodland, Bernhard. Elise! Oh, tell them, Elise. I didn't leave Kieferberg all day. I met Freya just earlier. Oh, Oops. That fellow is clearly confused, Mr. Bernhard. Oh, I'm not so certain that's all there is to it, Elise. That there's no more to it, Miss Wilma. The lad wouldn't lie about such a thing. Would you, lad? I I saw her, I did. That fellow's just tired and afraid, that's all. Can't you see what's happening here, you? That fellow knows what he saw, lassie. There's no reason to doubt the lad. The witch must be one of you, if not both. Hmm. Papa, I swear I didn't. Listen to yourselves. Accusing me is one thing, but I won't hear a word about Freya. You are the witch, you wretch. That's enough. I've heard enough. I won't stand for this. Search them both. You must search them right now. Find the witch's mark. <sighs> I will take no more of this nonsense. That's this is enough. Can't you see what you're doing to Kieferberg? Can't you see this witch nonsense is turning us against each other? The witch is clearly right here in Kieferberg, lass. What can we do? Nobody in Kieferberg could ever do such a thing, old Jockin. We're a family, all of Kieferberg, no exceptions. Although we all understand your feelings, Freya. You clearly don't, Father, nobody does. That fellow believes he's seen the witch. Folks have been on edge all day. All of this is a consequence of how we've been facing this crisis. The fear, hostility, and hesitation. That's all very nice, Freya, but we need to do something. I know, but... Let's do the vigil, then. Work on the preparations for the festival together. Like the family we are, the family we've always been. Freya! Uh... Would you folks truly burn me at the stake? Or at least Lippikachin or even Rosamarine? I expected more from my family, that's all I wanted to say. You've said more than enough, Freya. All of Kieferberg is to meet here tonight for prayer. As we ought to have done from the start. Move along now, folks. 
We are to focus on what we have to do. Protect our home at all costs. There she is. Spend some time. Elise. Hi, Elise. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't come about after all that. Freya. Freya. You know, I... I'm sorry, I. It all got out of hand, and I. I know, but... It wasn't your fault, Elise. So, Freya, had it not been for you, I don't think. More importantly, Elise. Huh? That's enough brooding over nonsense, wouldn't you say? Why don't you lend me a hand with these grapes? I suppose. I've been thinking about yesterday, you see. About how much I enjoy making things and... And? I could try making a living out of it, couldn't I? Maybe someplace else, like Primaldorf. If there's anyone who could do it, Frey, it'd be you. Oh, right. Then how about a jeweler? A jeweler? Oh, it's Wouldn't these grapes make the most charming earrings? <laughs> Freya. Freya? It would be so much fun. I'd make earrings and necklaces all day. Oh, and brooches just like yours, too. You thought about going to Primaldorf then? <laughs> ah, this is just a silly idea of mine, Elise. There's still so much to think about before I truly commit. Probably this one. You'll waste all of your potential, Freya. If you keep thinking like that anyhow, you need to be more confident. Please. Please. You know, I... I understand it's not easy for you, but... I know. but... No, I know. It truly is in my hands, Elise. I meant it when I said you were gifted, Freya. You could be a jeweler, or a seamstress, or anything you want to be. Oh, Elise. Oh, Elise. I'm glad to see you've given it some proper thought. I truly am. You've been encouraging me so much, I suppose I... Look, Freya, up there. Let me get those grapes for you. They're so big. Oh, please be careful. That barrel is too old for that. Elise! Are you alright, Elise? Eh! You could have gotten hurt, for goodness sake. Freya? You haven't been eating enough, have you? I, I certainly have. Put me down. You're light as a feather, Elise. I could carry you about town like this all day. Freya, put me down. For goodness sake, you might even be stronger than Mr. Gustav. Hey, Elise, if I do leave Kieferberg for Primaldorf and... Try my luck as a seamstress or whatever else. You have all my support, Freya. Oh, Elise. Oh, Elise, come here. Yeah! Now this again, my back still hurts, Freya. Elise, Elise wait! Freya! What in the... You're rather brave, lass. You... Do you yearn for wealth and fortune that deeply? I clearly do, sir, but now let her go. No, I don't think I will. What, what in the Lord's name? Ooh. Freya! Freya. You know there is something you have yet to come to terms with. Something you've been avoiding. What are you talking about? A good company, lass. You've sacrificed your mortal body for the tender flesh. 
You know it's your blood needed for the sweetest nectar. Yet it's the good company you refuse to surrender. What are you talking about? Show me the depths of your heart. What? I wish to see how dearly you care for your beloved. Ow. You want to know how deeply I care for Freya? I was too prideful to come to terms with it, but... I'm envious of her. I've always been envious and resentful for no good reason. She's truly so loving and genuine. I'm the one who's bitter and lonely. I always resented her for nothing. We both have similar ambitions, but... She's better than me. I can never be like her. That's why I need him to grant me this wish. Uh, oh, but truly, you're not worth my time alone, is. This is ridiculous! Your dreams are the real deal. Raya's dreams of becoming someone while I'm so caught up with being pretty. Oh, what? She's always so dedicated, so mindful of everyone's needs. I don't think I can ever be like her, but she's been bringing out the best in me. I'm with Freya, I can truly... ...leave this town behind. We can leave this rat hole of a town together. Uh oh, still blaming this town for your short-sightedness, are you? Not worthy. Leave myself behind, and grow out of this bitterness that's taken hold of me. What's this? This will test a mint. Bottle.
Or your speed of Snector, lass. Show yourself, you wretch. I are truly so bewitching, lass. I think you are willing to betray such pure feelings. And you get out of here. Well, it makes me want to keep you all to myself. Making the most of today, aren't you? Hi, Elise. You've been dancing around the maypole all day, Freya. Aren't you tired? Right. More importantly, Elise, won't you dance with me? <laughs> I was hoping we could. Oh, but you have to dance with Rosemarine at least. We have to make the most of the festival while she's here, Elise. You're truly. Is everything alright, Elise? You haven't changed one bit, Freya. Even after yesterday, you're still. Rather glad to be here in Kieferberg, that's it, isn't it? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking about this today. All that happened yesterday made me realize Kieferberg won't be around forever, Elise. Or that I won't be in Kieferberg forever, rather. Speaking of which, Freya... Well, let's please stop talking about such things. It's the day of the festival, I want to make the most of it with you. That's not it, Freya. Come now, let's dance, Elise. Why don't you come with me up to the viewpoint, Freya? Viewpoint? <laughs> There's something I'd like to tell you is all. Oh, but we haven't danced together yet. We can always dance later, can't we? We have to move along then before it gets too late. Let's go. You must dance with you after all, or you'll lose your mind. Elise! <sighs> that was tiring. Oh, I've had it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would have cared you had I known you were tired, Elise. Haven't you had enough of that this week? <laughs> Do you truly want me to answer that? Mm. For goodness sake. Oh, it's, wonderful. it's still a wonderful festival, isn't it, Elise? Even if it's a little quieter this year. Now that you mention it. it used to be a great deal livelier, that's for certain. <sighs> oh, I wonder what Primaldor's festivals are like. I'm certain they're much bigger and more colorful than ours. You should go and see it for yourself, Freya. Oh, Elise. Don't you mean we, Elise? Uh... I suppose. See, Elise. You've surely encouraged me a great deal this past week. I didn't mean all I said, Freya. <laughs> you helped me understand my own feelings better, Elise. That, as much as I love Kieferberg, I want more for myself. Me too, Freya. I feel the same about Kieferberg, but also I have something... Oh, you've always made it clear you want to leave, Silly. You're always so certain about what you want, Elise. I feel like I can do anything when I'm with you. Don't be silly, Freya. You can do anything without me. I do mean it, Elise. I can't picture my future without you. Freya, if you truly believe I can become a seamstress in Primaldorf, then I do too. <laughs> I could become a princess in that castle, even as long as I'm with you. For goodness sake, you're so embarrassing. I know I, know I could do all of these things without you, Elise. Yet you give it so much more meaning, I truly... Yet you're going too fast, Freya. You know, I... 
before you carry on, there's something I... All that jealousy I felt for you turned into something else, and... It took me this long to realize that I... What do you mean, turned into something else, Freya? I love you, Elise. Uh, I truly do. This past week has been a dream come true. Freya, you... I know this is all very sudden, but... Won't you come to Primaldorf with me, Elise? To Primaldorf, you say? Even beyond that, I want to see how far we can go together. You're truly so... I've talked to Papa about it already, too. Huh? What? He knows? And we've been flirting about town, of course. Oh, I'm as good as dead. Oh, Elise. Elise, don't be silly. Oh, it's wonderful. He's part of it, too. He said I ought to follow my heart while I can. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. You can give me an answer when you're ready, Elise. Before I say anything else, Freya, won't you come with me? There's something I'd like to show you. <laughs> of, course. of course, Elise. Come then, it's not far. Ah, different token of love. Everlasting love. Final heart. This is it, there's no going back. I've got everything, it's only a matter of... Elise. Is everything alright, Elise? <laughs> ah, yes. Let's move along now. I should make certain I have everything in my basket. Best I hurry and get everything ready. Oh, Elise. I can't hold it anymore, I have to say it. Huh? I was going to wait until it was done, but I can't do it. For goodness sake, Freya, out with it. I'm making you a winter dress. What? Miss Marielle had this wonderful red fabric laying about, you see. I couldn't help myself, Elise. Ah, well, I don't see the harm in that. Oh, I should have waited before telling you, but I was so excited. I'm thinking of making you a cloak to go with it, too. Miss Marielle had some fur laying about, so I also thought about... I'll be looking forward to it, Freya. I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling, but I must ask. How do you feel about headbands, Elise? Oh, for goodness sake. I need to know. This is very important. Oh, I can't wait to tell Papa. To, to tell him? Why that we're going... F -f Freya? That we're going to Primaldorf, silly. Ah! Of course, I also ought to tell him that we're... For goodness sake, Freya. I can't not tell him, Elise. I wouldn't know how to face him, Freya. This is the same as you've always done, Elise. That's easier said than done, Freya. I'll carry you there if I have to, whether you like it or not. You're getting Papa's blessing together, and that's final. Oh, I'm as good as dead. Elise! I have to focus on finding him. If he truly does grant my wish, maybe I can give Freya a better life, too. The only two endings we got for this one are the... Going into and sacrificing. And... The staying outside and not going to the tree.
keep close to me, all right. It's best we don't wander about. We could get lost. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, Elise. I never knew there was such a wonderful place. I don't know if I'd call it wonderful, Freya. Oh, Elise. Why, but isn't it... Look at all these butterflies and all these flowers. What? The sky is so blue here, too. Hmm. How did you find out about this place? Come, Freya, stay close to me. I wouldn't want you to get lost. Oh, this is wonderful. Is everything all right, Freya? I think there was such a place in Kieferberg. How different is it from the creek or the viewpoint? Why, it's completely different. We don't have such colorful flowers anywhere in Kieferberg. Colorful flowers? Is that what she's seeing? Doesn't anything seem strange to you, Freya? Strange? I don't hear any birds, for example. Why haven't you noticed those robins up there in those trees? I don't know what's going on, but I ought to be careful. Oh, at least look. Huh? Over there, between those trees. Can you see it? See what, Freya? Why the rainbow? Oh, it's like it sprang up just for the two of us, Elise. I don't know what's gotten into her, but she's seeing things I'm not. I ought to hurry and leave these testaments where they belong. The tender flesh of earthly desire. Make the offering. I suppose this will be enough. Okay, let's do the not going into the tree first. Oh, so many fireflies. Huh? They're so bright and golden. You should have told me about this place sooner, Elise. I'm not sure what she's talking about, but... As per usual, there's no added thing there. Oh, uh, yeah, all these things. Oh, how wonderful. I miss being in your shoes, lass. Okay, so they just repeat. Are there 25 of these now? Putting all your eggs in one basket, are you? Not that I can blame you. Playing with a fire is rather addictive, isn't it? Fingers crossed you won't get burned. Such lovely company you're bringing him, lass. A bit of a waste, isn't it? Oh, that poor, poor witch. One truly can't win against him, huh? What's your wish, lassie? I promise I won't tell. Oop, go back up here. I don't need right now. Aren't you daring? Going against her wishes like that. Did you say it's worth it, lass? Now that you would know him before meeting him either way. Why, aren't you generous? I'll be looking forward to having that friend of yours join us for dessert. You're almost there, lass. Oh, how exciting. Take the offering for the sweetest nectar. Oh, look at this fountain. I wonder who put this here. What are you talking about, Freya? Oh, 
My, quit teasing me, Elise. He hasn't been making much sense, has she? Good company. Make the offering. Oh, Elise, this is so awfully romantic of you. I suppose. Come now, there's an even better place up ahead. <gasps> the gates that old hag told me about. I did it, they're open. But if I go through with this, I... I might lose her. If what's on the other side of these gates is anything like the woods, I... I can't go through with this. Mm. Is everything alright, Elise? <sighs> Let's go home, Freya. <laughs> oh, already? I thought there was something you wanted to show me. <laughs> no, it's alright. It's getting late, too, and we still have to dance around the maypole. Oh, right. oh that's true. We wouldn't want folks to start cleaning up before we got the chance. Freya. Freya. You hmm? Know, I... I, uh, you see... Come now, Elise. I said it was just fine. You can do it, too. It, you. Oh, for goodness sake, you're not making it any easier. <laughs> Freya. I love you, Freya. Oh, it's it shows. For sake. Why, you... Let's go, then, back to Kieferberg. Wherever you want to go, Freya. It didn't take us long to leave town after the festival. Everyone saw us off with tears in their eyes as if we'd be leaving for good. See you, Elise. See you, Freya. Don't forget to come visit. Papa. Please don't cry, Papa. I'll come visit as often as I can. Be right, too. <laughs> of course, Papa. You'll make me cry if you keep that up. Mr. Gustav still writes us every week without fail. Once we arrived in Primaldorf, we found ourselves a cramped townhouse. It was riddled with cobwebs, and we didn't have much of anything at first. We both worked as maids of all work, just like we'd done in Kieferberg. Oh, it's wonderful. I got a tip today, Elise. Someone needed help hemming some curtains. I did it. Put it in the jar, Freya. Oh, we'll have enough for the sign next week if we keep going like this. Never mind the sign, we need to get you a proper shop first. Ah. Oh. It wasn't long until we found a small ground floor shop to rent. Grape jewel. You know, I... Should we move that one more to the right, Freya? Oh, right. oh, I was thinking we could hang some on the wall over there, too. Are you done arranging all your threads and ribbons? Not yet, I have to dust the shelves first. <laughs> Freya? We have to hurry, Freya. We open in an hour. I'm sorry. Oh, I know, Elise. I'm so nervous. Are you ready, Freya? Alright. I go open the doors now, alright? Oh, right. Hi, Elise, wait. Won't you lend me a hand for a moment?
Today's the big day, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm sort of nervous I could cry, Elise. <laughs> Come now, Freya, you'll do great, I'm sure of it. Elise. Hey, Elise. Hmm? You've been so supportive all this time. I want to do something for you, too, Elise. Now that you mention it. There's nothing for you to do, Freya. Oh, right. What about your dream, Elise? Everything we've done has been for me, and I feel... This is my dream, Freya. Mm. Running this shop won't make us wealthy, Elise. <laughs> what about several shops? Huh? You want to design clothes, Freya, not just work as a seamstress. <laughs> of course, but that's just a dream, Elise. So. I'll prove it to you then. What? You'll be the best seamstress in Pumaldor, Freya. I did it! And once we've achieved that, we'll have shops everywhere. Oh, Elise. Oh, Elise, don't be silly. You. That's my dream, Freya, it's not silly. Your clothes will be worn across the entire country, you'll see. I love you, Elise. Oh, I love you, Elise. Freya! <laughs> Look at you, that's all it takes to get you red as a beet. Oh, for goodness sake, Freya! Grape Jewel, ending number six. Elise. Mm. Okay, now we go into the tree this time. I got through with this. I wish. I have come all this way. I ought to find him. I have to do this. I'll have him grant it for me if it kills me. Huh? Freya. Freya. She was taken. Come this far, I ought to go meet him. Lock. Wait. Lock, wait. Wait! What in the Lord's name is going on here? What is this place? Endless visions of desolate lands extended to the horizon. Okay. And nothing different up top. Lock? Wait! Lock? What are you doing here? Meet again, Elise. Who? What are you? Here, right, I thought you'd be happy to see me. I I don't. <laughs> Let's have a word, Elise. You've come here for a reason, haven't you? My wish. <laughs> Why don't we discuss this over the feast you've brought me?
Much better, isn't it? Or him, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Ozzy, Elise. Ozzy, <laughs> at your service. This wish of mine, can you truly... Or Price, yes. I've already brought you your gifts. What else could you... <laughs> Speaking of which... Wait. I either brought you what you asked of me. <sighs> you see the girls keep misunderstanding. These are mere gifts, Elise, a little courtesy. You're yet to pay for what you truly desire. What? Mm. Hey, which made you think otherwise, did she? You know, I... How do you know that? <laughs> I know everything about you, Elise. I knew you'd like the shoes, too. <gasps> you were the one who... Hmm. Rather tasteless, isn't she? Trying to use me to lure you into her belly? <gasps> what, the witch? <laughs> You're well aware of who I'm talking about, aren't you? That old hag? She was speaking the truth, Elise. These gifts brought you to me. Although you didn't quite need them, did you? What do you mean? <laughs> we have a unique bond, Elise. Me, you, that witch, and your grandmother. Oh, was it? What, what are you... Huh? Calm down, won't you? <laughs> your grandmother is no stranger to me, lassie. Begged me for a child, and here you are, back to your roots. You mean Granny Hole also... Conceiving you in that witch's woodland was a mistake, that's what. Made her believe she had a part in it, that you're her kin, even. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why about your dear mother, Elise? A mother? The only mother I've ever had was Granny. <laughs> Let's put that past us. You're here for a reason. You did good in bringing me your tender flesh and sweetest nectar. <laughs> even brought me some good company for supper. For supper? Mm -hmm. Let us dine, Elise. Tell me more about what it is you desire, why don't you? Now that you mention it. That's what I want, is... <laughs> I can't hear you, Lassie. Speak up. I want to be rich. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Silence! My apologies, Elise. They're not so easy to tame, you see. You know, I... What are they, anyhow? Aww. My golden maidens, you ask? Nothing but mere servants, Elise. But let us focus now. <laughs> you want to be rich, you say? That's what your heart most desires, is it? Now that you mention it. I want an easy, luxurious life. No more of this made-of-all-work nonsense. I want to live in a castle to live comfortably forever. <laughs> to live out my dream together with... with what are you all laughing at? Mm -hmm. I have a price, Elise. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> your first-born child. My second-born child. <laughs> oh, how am I to know you'll have two children, Elise? Are you to know I'll have any at all? Hmm. Why, don't you trust me? Uh. I've shown you my loyalty, haven't I? I've brought you your gifts, every last one. It's the least you could do. <laughs> You're certain this is what you want, Elise? Luxurious life starting right this instant. <laughs> well then. Let us indulge in the first course now, why don't we? Elise! Freya! <laughs> Let us make a toast, Elise. <laughs> what did you do to her? Yeah. Me? Let her go. <laughs> Why, I don't think you'd want that, Lassie. Our contract is sealed, after all. Huh? Come now, you know what we're doing here, Elise. I told you to let her go, you. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way, why don't we? Elise! <laughs> These gifts, Elise, the testaments to your loyalty. The tender flesh, your own mortal body. The sweetest nectar, your very own blood. Good company, now that's... The one you hold dearest to your heart, Elise. No, that can't be. Elise, help me! No, no, you can't do this. Get away from me, no! Stop, this isn't what I meant to do. Nobody told me about this. You're so noisy, can't we get this over with? So noisy, so noisy. That's what I said, you lousy crow. <laughs> Let us feast from Vry, Izzy all. 
No, stop! I don't want to die, Elise. I want my papa. Help me, Elise. Freya. No, this isn't what I... Please, at least, please! Freya's the good company. This isn't what I meant to do, not at all. Please, please have mercy. I want my papa. Papa, please! Mr. Gustav, he doesn't know. I can still... I can still save her. I can still stop this. I can still... Papa, Papa, save me! Freya, she's crying. There's so much blood. If I don't stop this, Freya will... No, no! I don't want to die, I don't want to die. If I don't stop him, he will... Oh, I'm full. I must thank you, Elise. Not only for the feast, but for this beautiful new addition to my entourage. Freya. We'll meet again, Elise. I will be there on the day your second child is born. Till we meet again, Elise. Let's see, Lee's little, I reckon. Hmm? I'm here on behalf of Court Roman Dihirilage. The Count would very much like to see you, Miss Elise. Would you please allow me to escort you to the castle? I got precisely what he promised me. Nothing more, nothing less. Fortune and wealth, a second chance at happiness. Yet... No matter how big the ballroom or how glorious the dresses, I found myself feeling out of place. None of it came close to what I sacrificed, it all felt... that but worthless, far from what I truly wanted. Harrowing regret haunted me day and night. Unearthly visions of her, of the look on her face the night I lost her forever. He too visited me in the dead of night. Reminding me of my own foolishness, my futility. All I had left was my progeny, my beloved son Henry. My one and only child, I will never put you in harm's way. Never will that demon get my second-born child. There is only you, Henry. You're my only hope, my only chance at happiness. Yet fate wouldn't have it that way. I had twins, a boy, Henry, and a daughter. My beloved daughter. Going to take her from me.
and he did take her as per his end of the bargain. I still had Henry, yet I lost not only the one I loved most, but also the fight against him, and now my daughter as well. I found myself going back to Kieferberg. I had to go there once more, to the viewpoint. A special place where I'd share so many memories with her. What I found was a grave for the both of us. My beloved daughter Freya, and to my beloved Elise, whom I loved as my own flesh and blood. May we all find closure, may they both be in a better place. Mr. Gustav. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Only I hadn't been so blind. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Freya. I loved you. I truly did, and I still do. I still do, Freya. Treacherous Rose, ending number two.